As the clock ticks on the special session, actual change is being stalled. Where Democrats refuse to be held hostage. Texas House Democrats taking their fight to D.C. The exit sparked by voting legislation that has completely divided parties. Every Texan that's eligible to vote or wants to vote is affected by the legislation. If you are a voter in the state of Texas, nothing is going to change for you. On Saturday, one group of Austinites gathered at the state capitol in protest. They've left our state unprotected and we're, we want them to ba be vacated from their positions and for people who want to represent us to be here to vote and to care about the people. Hours later, That's when Texas voters. another group showing up in support. When you have so many states trying to attack voting rights, there's only one solution, and that has to be a federal solution from the U.S. Congress. It's not complicated. All we want to do is protect voting rights for everyone. Republicans call the move by Democrats nothing more than a political stunt amidst a misleading message. Uh, a ploy by Democrats to, to really try to, you know, claim bills do something that they don't. This isn't, this isn't a policy argument they're making. This is a political uh, statement that they're making. While Democrats believe they were left with no other choice. When you are in a part of a legislative body, the whole point is to compromise and to make legislation that's best for Texans. In this case, Republicans refused to make any compromises on the voter suppression bills. Breaking quorum and trying to get the attention of the public and the federal government, as similar voting legislation has stalled in Congress. They're getting a lot of support from their congressional colleagues. Um, they've been meeting with senators and are feeling that their you know, people are being heard. Back in Austin, Republicans maintain. They should show up. I've never been paid for work that I didn't do. Um, and they are abandoning their work.